Yo, 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 yiggity, yo, what up, people, the interwebs is that guy, not lax, and today being 420, all you marijuana smokers out there, make sure you light up, spark up one, and remember that, uh, marijuana is for medicine, and on this day, today is also the same day Hitler was born, so let's not celebrate that as we celebrate the life of the herbs but with that being said today's video is coming from the likelihood of Frito Santana hip-hop artist from Chicago Illinois make sure you guys stay tuned stay subscribed this is the best in daily dreadlock content Getting right into this video here, we're going to be looking at Frito Santana, highly requested, highly scary looking motherfucker, Derek Coleman, better known as Frito Santana, American rapper from Chicago, born July 4th, 1990, age 24. See, all this gangster rap I'm not a fan of, so obviously I don't know what kind of music this guy makes. Well, I mean, I have an idea of what he makes in terms of music, but... It's not anything that's worth mentioning by my standards. But he does have a pretty interesting set of locks. Let's take a look at these freeforms. As we can see, Frito Santana starts off with just, you know, regular hair. Regular hair, shaved head. This is where this is where his journey begins with his face tats. But as his hair starts to grow, we see the free forms start to go on. And these free forms are, are, are cool, I guess. They're pretty cool looking, you know? Free forming your locks is actually, oh yeah, you're cool, buddy. Man, it's so stupid. Why do like these rappers just promote violence and guns and, and it makes kids want to grow up with, uh, this kind of attitude honestly it's ridiculous on how uh, the image imagery in hip-hop leads to sell out looking at some more pictures um, come on where are his dreads there they are there they are troll hair it's like trolls I love it but his hair is like Apparently pretty free form. Um, I can only find some more pictures of him on here. There's not too many. Let's go to his Instagram page as usual. And let's see what's really guaning here. Alright, one hour ago posted. Now you can see the shape of his locks actually starting to form. Compared to the first picture when his locks were just kind of like starting to mat together. Here we can actually see some definition and some shape happening. And it's interesting to see here how the front locks turned up because in the other picture they were so thick and like on my top of my afro head it, they're the same way and it doesn't look like they would lock together but looking at this photo I can see kind of how they might make their shape. Another shot of him from the side. So he's got the baby locks almost. Well, I mean, they're, they're probably about five inches long, so they're not so much baby locks anymore. But they still definitely have the mind of their own standing up on end uh, any which direction. And that's the part I love about baby locks is that they just kind of do what they got to do in order to get formed. And, you know, you don't really have much control in styling them. They just, they just do what they want. Uh, here's the next picture. And obviously this guy does not style his hair. He just kind of rocks it. He doesn't even throw it back in a half ponytail or nothing. Another picture. Uh, here is a drawing. Looks fucking... Like 
with the free forms shot from the back yeah free forming your hair when it's short really gives you that homeless look for a while uh, I'm just kind of getting out of that phase right now oh my gosh look who it is Ian Connor and Frito and then some other dude with locks Ian's locks look like shit right here I don't know they look grungy Fritos look cool. The bandana look is the only style I guess going for Fritos dreads at the moment. Taking some, hitting some dabs. Smoking some spliffs. Uh, okay, actually this is a good shot of his locks here. Uh, you can see like this one right here is very crinkly and it's probably not even that formed yet uh, and the other ones like they're still very like thick and fluffy and I noticed this about free forming like they're they get they stay fluffier a lot longer uh, they take longer to mature Opposed to somebody interlocking their hair, which is like almost instant maturing because it's so tight uh, Twisting almost the same because when you twist it up so tight, it's like almost like it's making it matured once it sets uh, I noticed this on my locks that I have on my side They matured a lot quicker than the obviously my free forms because they've been manipulated to do so But if you are free forming your whole head it's gonna take a lot longer to mature and your dreads will stay fluffier and lighter for a lot longer it seems takes him quite a bit of time to drop so it looks like he's got some sideshow Bob looking sort of hair a little bit you guys remember sideshow Bob from the Simpsons uh, here's the next pick so it would be cool to see his hair as it grows I do agree with that um, and with today being 420 it's actually a pretty good candidate for dread review because he does smoke a lot of weed it looks like and uh, I'm going to end it off here because I don't really have much more to say about his locks. They all kind of look the same in these pictures. They do look different than many of the other people from Chicago, Illinois. The way his his locks are, there's not much you can do with style them besides just throwing a bandana on, it seems like. But I'm going to end this video here with this Bob Marley quote that he's posted. <laughs> he says, weed gives you time to think. Let go of worry and just think for that moment you can live. Kind of brings you in the present moment. And that's why it really helped me with my OCD because it brought me down to the level of being present on where I am and not worried about compulsions and not worried about doing rituals that I would normally be doing if I wasn't medicated. But regardless, this is not locks. I'm signing off. Make sure you guys stay tuned and stay subscribed. I got another video coming out tomorrow. I'm never going to stop. I'm on that YouTube grind. So I'll see you guys next time. Talk to you soon. Talk to you soon. Peace. You know you see me popping on this freaking YouTube shit. Coming through with no clicks. So low all that shit I get. Cause you know I got my guap. Coming through I never flop. Daily videos because you know it's all I know. And then I get my dro. Smoke it up for 20 cause you already know. And I'm coming through with these girls that they wanna blow. But I ain't into no coco. Because you know I stay solo. Getting on my dolo. I got that dough like the Pillsbury popping and you never be stopping because you always be capping but then these girls be cacking they blacking they coming through they just trying to hack me but I'm not stopping I'm staying low low but I'm high high and you want to see me but you are shooting like a drive-by I'm about to sign off I'll see you later dudes check me out tomorrow cuz you know I'm sicker than the flu